And this morning, Mark, you have a perfect spring dish for us. So what do you be making? That's it. So we've got a classic roast. We've got roast lamb, so Yum. you can't get more kiwi than that. Oh, I love roast lamb. And uh, um, even more than chicken? Yeah, even more than chicken. Oh, wow. Well, actually, no. No, I still love On the same pot. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got a um, beautiful boned out lamb shoulder. So I'm going to talk through how to cook uh, that a bit later. So yep. it's going to be full of flavour. And because we're in spring now and the weather's so good, we're going to do a nice, beautiful carrot salad in there. So lots of vinegar in there. We've got some yogurt and we've got some cranberries as well. So it's really like vibrant and summery and fruity and lammy. Ooh. And I see some star anise <laughs> in there as well. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, yeah, and see. spicy as well. <laughs> see, there you Without go. being chilly. It is going to be awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. Can't wait to get this started very soon. We're in the Beko Kitchen. The perfect spring or summer recipe this morning, Mark. And I see you've even pre-peeled the carrots. That is good. <laughs> yeah. That is going to like a chef that does that. It means I don't have to. OK. <laughs> <laughs> what do we need to start with first? Right, so we're going to make the, uh, the pickled salad first, or the carrot salad first. OK. Uh, what we need to make is Pickle. So I've got some white wine vinegar. A pickle, yes. A pickle, white, right, and some sugar. sugar. So sugar. that goes in, and we okay. just want to bring that up to the boil. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is dissolve all the sugar yep. into the vinegar. Okay. Uh, because the vinegar is quite sharp, the sugar balances it out, so you get the whole sort of sweet and sour pickle nice. um, thing going on there. Okay. I'm going to add some more flavours as well to this. Bay leaf mm -hmm. in there. That's great. You can use dried ones, or you can use um, uh, fresh ones if you've got them in the garden. Right. Cinnamon stick. Yes. That goes in there and some star anise as well. So we're getting yeah. all these nice flavours in That's there. That's a nice little brew. Yeah. So just sort of stir it around, swirl it around. Okay. Um, I'll swirl it. Yeah. Good job. I've got no good, utensils. Good work. <laughs> Don't know what I'd do without you. It's gone very Hudson and Halls all of a sudden, hasn't it? No utensils, no nothing. <laughs> you don't need them. We're just swelling today. Uh, no, you're right. And it is dissolving, so it's working. Yeah, and that's what you want to do. So bring it up to the boil, turn it down a little bit, and then just give it a couple of minutes sort of ticking over, and all those flavours from the spices will come out, mm. and then let it cool down. Right, in the meantime, we need to uh, get our carrots ready. Okay. So you did say that we're not going to peel them, but we yes. are going to peel oh, them. Oh, you're going to peel more. Yeah, so we're going to do little carrot ribbons. Oh, little carrots. Like this. <laughs> Carrot ribbon. Look at that. And it's it's really easy. So peel it, you know, discard yep. your outside um, peel, mm -hmm. and then all you do is just, just carry on peeling it so it goes down. Okay, well, well, that go. sounded like you wanted me to do it. Do you want me yeah, to keep there you peeling? Go. You okay, keep peeling. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll peel. Hey, come over here and peel. You want all of these done? Yes. Oh my goodness. By the end of the first segment, please. <laughs> right, so you can see the pickles, uh, pickles just coming up to yep. boil now. Another bit of a swirl. That's nearly there, and we'll Let's turn it off. And then once once Mike's finished, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> if he ever finishes. <laughs> it's really go on to the next one. No, now. but it's really hard to hang on to a little <laughs> carrot like that. I mean, look at that. Okay, <laughs> that's much oh, better. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so we've, why, uh, why can't you just chop them? Why do you want ribbons? Does it make the salad easier to eat? Because it tastes better. It tastes better. Okay. No, cool. you could do whatever you want. You could chop it. You could uh, julienne it. You just need, need some nice sort of uh, nice even sizes. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're going to turn that off now. Okay. <laughs> so, so it's nice and warm. And then once Mike's finished, we're going to pour. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to pour all this onto the carrots and you want to leave them for about five minutes and then we'll just, um, you know, they'll soften slightly but they'll take on that beautiful pickle. Okay, nice. Okay, right, and then I've got some lamb here. So this is a shoulder of lamb, or this is half a shoulder of lamb because I've already cooked one. It'd be Ooh, good nice. to know. Oh, good. Um, so it's really good. So it's boned out, so there's no bone in there. Um, just going to open it up, give it a light season onto here and mm -hmm. then what we're going to do is roll it back up and then... We're going to give it some nice olive oil. So be really generous with the olive oil. Okay. So really douse it in. And then a little bit more salt and pepper. You know, be quite generous because it's going to roast. Some of it's going to fall off. Have you I still do. got one to go? No, 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 you finished no. now. You're giving up. I can't just have one ribbon that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so pour your, pour, your, pour your pickle onto there. Right, and then there's a tip now for to get some extra flavour into your lamb. Yeah. So carefully, tip of a sharp knife, and you can just sort of dig it in and make some nice little uh, incisions. Incisions, that's it. You know, this is great. You know, if you ever had a really stressful day at work, okay, you can sort of come home and do this. <laughs> and then just do some nice little slices of garlic. Yep. And uh, we've got some rosemary here. Just. Break some little sprigs. Can nice. you have to put the pickle oh. on there? Oh, I okay, can here. Do, yep. do I take the star yeah. and these no, no, stuff no, out? No, all, all in. Okay, cool. And then what we're going to do is just insert your rosemary and your garlic in there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pop it on a baking tray. And we're going to give it 20 minutes at 200 degrees, so nice and hot, because we want that fat to crispen up and render down. And then we're going to pop it down to 160 
and just keep cooking it until it's nice and there, pink or however you like it. Nice work. Okay, looking good. Nice and quick too. We'll see how to get the lamb prepped a little more and how we roast it in just a few minutes. Right now though, we need to get this lamb finished and can I just say it is looking incredible. Obviously when you prepared earlier. Is yeah, it? yeah, it's not the same one. Okay. So, we, so we roasted that in the oven. Yep. We've taken it out and we've let it rest for at least sort of 25 minutes. And how long did you roast it for, roughly? Oh, that was probably about, so 20 minutes on 200 and then knock it down for about another 20 minutes okay, or so, 15, cool. 20 minutes. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is our carrot ribbons that have been pickling in that mix. They have been pickling. It right, smells so, good. So what we're going to do is take uh, the majority of the liquid off now. Okay. So you can pour that back into there. Mm -hmm. And you want to take, at this point, you want to take the uh, star anise, cinnamon and bay leaf out as well. Okay, cool. So can that go back in that pot? Yes, that can yep. go back okay, in that cool. pot. Okay, cool. Whoops, don't want the carrot in there. Okay. And you want the liquid out? In this pot? Uh, yeah, you can yeah. put the liquid in that pot. Okay. So we're going to use a little <laughs> the bit. the most useless sushi, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. I don't okay. know if you, if you don't ask the questions, no, no that's one right. will. I don't want to get it wrong. Okay. All right, so in here now, we're going to make a little um, little dressing. All right, so we've got all that vinegar in there. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, honey in there mm -hmm. so you can just mix all this around. Okay. I'm going to build this around um, the carrots. Okay. A little bit of uh, Dijon mustard that okay. goes in there. Nice. It's really nice. Carrots, um, mustard, lamb mustard, it's really good. Um, what else have we got? Lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Goes in there. And you don't want to throw out the liquid, do we want to keep it? And, uh, oh, I mean, you, you could keep it and then oh. uh, do it again. Okay. And a little bit of olive oil in there. Nice work. So you can, uh, you know, give that a taste. Okay. You know, so we just uh, just throw all the ingredients in there, which is really good, and then taste it, you know? So if you want it a bit more acidic, uh, you can put some more lemon juice in there. If you want it a bit sweeter, you put the honey in there. You know, so you just balance it and uh, get the flavour you want. Well, that'll do me. You, Is it good? You, you had me at mustard. <laughs> okay. And then a little bit of dill as well. So we've got some dill in there. Okay. Um, you know, it gives a really nice fresh flavour. Okay, and, nice. uh, and then some dried cranberries as well. Brilliant. You know, okay, great great colour, great texture. There you go. Okay, so that's, cool. going, that's going with our lamb. The, ram, uh, the lamb's ready to carb. Right, on here, Yes. we've got a little bit of oil mm -hmm. in here, and we're going to get it really hot. So we want to get this smoking. OK. And we're going to scald the cumin seeds, OK? Scold them. As scold. Said, you naughty cumin <laughs> seeds. You naughty, naughty cumin <laughs> seeds, or a different type of scold. Well, you can do that first. So, yeah, so it's a two-part recipe. Okay. So shout at the, <laughs> get the cumin seeds. Belly. OK. <laughs> and, and then warm some oil up. OK, so that's hot enough? Yeah, so get it really hot, so you can sort of see it. It's uh, to smoke. You know, if, if you look at the oil and you just gently tip it, it's quite loose. It's, okay. it's, it's almost like it's, it's a lot thinner, so you know it's really high temperature, and you can right. see the smoke coming off now. Right, so then just carefully, you can um, ideally pop it in there rather than throw it in there. OK. Um, make sure that's not plastic and it's heat proof, and then yep. the hot oil, and you see that just goes over there. Oh, OK, oh, cool. We could have got it a little bit hotter. A little bit hotter. Well, see, sizzling slightly. Yeah, so you've, so you've got this uh, beautiful sort of oil, and we're just going to chuck it back okay. in. Okay, <laughs> it's going back in. Put yeah, it on we'll, the heat. Yeah, we'll go a little bit more. Okay. But you can see now that's what you want, you know, it's, it's hissing, it's bubbling. You know, it just it shocks it, you know, it extracts all that flavour into that mm. oil. It's really good. And then what you want to do with this, then you can take it off, let it cool down a bit. Yeah, because I can really smell that now. Yeah, and it toasts it as well, because the oil's so hot, so it gives that instant sort of toasting. Okay. But let that cool down, and then we've got some natural yogurt here. Nice. And mix that into the yogurt, and okay. you get a massively like beautiful, sort of interesting flavoured yogurt. You can put some mint in there if you want, some cucumber, or just leave it like that, and then we're going to serve it all together. Really fresh, summery nice. dish. No wine in this recipe? No, no, that's to drink with it. <laughs> that's to drink with it, OK. I will save the bottle that I have hidden under here, <laughs> very Hudson and Halls. OK, you can get this full recipe and ingredient list on our website, so you can try this at home. We'll see the finished product very soon. Oh, this looks great, <laughs> great, but what are you going to do tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I'm joined by uh, Bridget Davis in the kitchen, and we're going to make a healthy cottage pie.